People usually want to build incredible things in their lives or they want to accomplish one very big project in their life, but nobody really wants to make something big out of their day, out of their current day. It's always like, oh, I will start this or someday I will. Yeah, but what are you doing today? Over the last years, I have published, uh, if we include my previous uh, YouTube channel that was banned, I published over like 400 videos and about 30 courses, uh, which are uh, uh, an assembly of many different videos inside and hypnotic tracks. Basically, I have been pretty productive and that's not even counting all the things I have been writing and all other projects I had at, at the same time. Was I always utterly motivated nonstop? No, definitely not. Natural motivation is coming and going. It is not always there. It is usually when you start something, you have an immense spark of excitement for the new things you are doing, but then that excitement kinds of fade away and you don't have the access to this immense reservoir of energy uh, that can make you enthralled about anything you are doing. So actually the way I have been that productive over the last years has tried to something completely different that I am calling now this neuro-linguistic motivation, but let's get more uh, thoroughly into it. Basically when you study NLP you have something called sub-modalities and anchoring. You probably have heard about those terms before uh, or maybe literally are using them right now if you are already maybe trained into NLP. Basically when I was in college, uh, when I started studying about uh, NLP and all of that, I stumbled upon the concept of submodalities and the ability to change your internal state, like uh, being able to reflect or change your thoughts and change the, the way your uh, feelings are operating, which is not about, about complete control and never uh, letting any natural emotions coming out. It is just a way to affect your internal uh, kinesthetics and being productive on the things you want. The basic ideas is to come back fishing for a resourceful state you had back in the day. So a moment where you have been extremely either motivated or confident, courageous, uh, joyful about something and you come back in your memory to one moment where you felt like that and you use that resource to apply it on how you feel right now. Again, there are some limits to that. It is not supposed to be used as a means to always control your emotions, no. But in any person's life, there are certain moments where you have to do something. There are things that you're just not going to escape, like you have to do them. It can be about money, it can be about your health. If at some point, if you're just neglecting your health, there will be a moment where life will catch back with you and just make you understand because you're getting disease and that now it is time to actually get back on the under control the way you are operating your health, which is about working out or diet, all of those things. And those things do require some positive state or some motivated state. But again, it is not the kind of motivation where you are just starting something and you feel excited and then after two months, you don't have anything, like you procrastinate. This is natural motivation and it never really, or natural willpower, and it never really lasts. What can last, however, and what therefore happened to me without knowing it, is that when you train your brain to activate a certain resourceful state with a certain type of task, then you won't need to motivate yourself because it will have been creating an internal anchor by itself, some habit. The more classical way of calling that is a habit, a habit that lasts. Something that you don't need to push yourself to do because your system is already planned for doing that because of the work you have been uh, doing ahead of time. And to my knowledge, NLP is by far the most resourceful, the best method to accomplish that. I know there are different methods and maybe you are using something that also works and that is not about NLP, I know, so everybody has their own methods. Just in my opinion, it is the most effective uh, considering all the people I have seen using it compared to other methods they were using. I tend to notice that this is really what works the best. On my side, therefore, the point is I have found myself using the, all those internal motivation, internal states, internal um, energetic states. Uh, where I just conditioned myself to be highly energetic whenever I had something important to do. And when I started uh, developing those videos, my business, all of that, actually it was automated. 
And I didn't figure this out until I talked with people who were just starting and who were still into those endless procrastination, uh, always numbing themselves through uh, social media or like not being productive on the right things. And in the beginning, I was like, yeah, but wh where is the problem? Because you just have to do it. Like, I don't really understand. If there are some deep trauma or some deep, lim deep limiting beliefs, then we can uh, elaborate on that. But some people I was seeing didn't even have any sort of big trauma trauma or big emotional pain preventing them, it was just no motivation. And I was like, how does that work? Because I don't have this anymore. But helping them and then reflecting on all the things I had been doing for, from college, I noticed, okay, it's not a problem for me anymore at this point because I have been conditioning myself on that level. But people who are just starting, who haven't been going through this whole conditioning, yeah, they are not there yet. So I started to teach people who were contacting me and who all my clients, starting teaching them the, the proper method to, motiv to motivate themselves with this kind of neuro-linguistic motivation. Basically, you are doing the submodalities and encoring some states with the current tasks you have at hand. And this method just make people achieve the results they could not achieve before because the best results in life are the things you are acquiring by being consistent. They are not the things you can just do one time extremely well and then it's done. No, any kind of big result is being achieved with consistency over the long, uh, the longer period of time. So if you're willing to go through all the books and study that by yourself, be my guest, do it. If you want some added help, I have prepared a method down below that you can uncover and you will find a complete step-by-step -step process to really define, to really use those internal states, the, all the things inside yourself that are at your disposal but you're, that you're not using or not to the fullest extent you could be using them. And this method, based Basically, is going to help you direct your attention on only what is relevant without becoming a robot neither. You can still find some enjoyable time where you're just letting yourself loose and do whatever you want. Just some moments during your week have to be set on very important things that have to be consistent. So this method down below will help you if you want to uh, direct your attention on the things that are really important, declutter all the, the mess, all the things you may be doing that you think are relevant and they are just not, or not, not as much as you thought, clarify your mind, this is a big thing I have been developing over the years, just clarify your mind from all the mess, finding out okay, what is the one thing I gotta do today or this week or this month, the one thing I have to focus on, and there is a process, a recurring process to use, a certain type of hypnotic track I have included in the method down below, a kind of process to relax your mind and slow down enough to find the spot on which you need to provide that energy. Uh, you can't provide massive energy on everything at the same time. Like no human being, uh, on social media, yes, but it is a lot of BS. Uh, no human being can be extremely productive on everything at the same time, on their health, on their finances, on their relationships. You have to prioritize. So how to know how to prioritize? Well, the thing is, if you are in a very positive state, in a state uh, that you have access to from your past where you felt compelled or you're totally amazed by something, excited, you get into that state and from that state you will figure out. You will figure out, oh, okay, I need to focus on this or I can't just delete that for now because it is not essential and focus on that thing, uh, that part of my life. And better be energized about all of that. It will help you to train yourself to get into the right energized state every morning when you wake up. Uh, many people are just into some lethargic state because they have been eating junk food for so long and being inactive or like unmotivated for so long that they, now it just became a habit and the idea is to turn that around and make stop getting you productive on the right things. First erasing the anxiety you may have about difficult things, uh, clarify from all the, the, the irrelevant things you might be doing, what do I need to remove and so what can I focus clear clearly on and then how can I simplify to only small chunks so that the consistency is easier. If the thing you have in mind right now is something that is going to require 10 hours a day, you're not gonna sustain it on the long term. Uh, some people pretend, but either they are lying or they are taking some added substance to help them. And even with that, it's not going to sustain on the long term because there are side effects. So in the end, the, the right way to be consistent is to simplify and, and make the tasks you have to, uh, to make smaller, easier to achieve, and make that an enjoyable process. The whole thing is, if you don't make that at least a little bit enjoyable, 
you, either you're not going to, going to sustain or you may sustain, but it's going to be draining, it's going to be exhausting, they're going to hate your life. So the idea is to make the process, the things you want to be productive on, enjoyable. Enjoyable, for that you have to simplify them and attach resources from your past, which is just one example and you have others in the methods down below, uh, just attaching resources positive states to the things you have to do. That way you won't need to push through pain and to motivate yourself uh, like pushing through force. You, do, you won't need that. You can just elaborate a simple process to let yourself be guided by a sense of excitement, of joy toward the things you want to accomplish. So if you're interested, you can check that down below. And my really my big uh, advice is to start by one area of your life only one at a time and uh, introducing some patience into the process because some people are kind of obsessive and always want more, more, more. But also for some other people, it might create a massive quantum leap right away. Uh, people who are used to use personal development may get into some obsessive rush where they always want more and want more. Those ones, they will need to, they, this program will help them to calm down, chill out and refocus the mind on simple things. And for those who are not really used to it and who are still like in a unmotivated state, they didn't really accomplish much. For those ones, this kind of method can really produce a massive quantum leap because it can help them get in touch with their hidden potential, their hidden resources they didn't even know they had, uh, and then apply that on the very important project they had, they kept delaying for years and years, whether it is about their health, about the, the way they are handling their business, their finances, about uh, developing their social skills maybe, many things like that. You can just have one small step every day and be compelled about it.